What would happen if all African nations started supporting each other? Nigeria is trying to establish the headquarters of the first ever energy bank with an investment of $5 billion. However, before the work started, other nations stood against it. They don't want the headquarters of the energy bank to be established in Nigeria. But why not? Are there any secret reasons for not allowing Nigeria to host this? Let's find out. A critical moment is at hand for Africa's oil-producing nations as they grapple with the decision to establish the continent's first-ever energy bank. Fueled by a promising initial investment of $5 billion, this ambitious project aims to transform Africa's energy landscape. However, the path forward is not without hurdles. A major bone of contention has emerged between nations, centering on the location of the bank's headquarters. This competition is already underway, with Nigeria facing mounting opposition from Ghana, South Africa, and other African countries in its bid to host the institution. But what is driving the competition among African nations for the headquarters of the African Energy Bank? The headquarters of the African Energy Bank symbolizes more than just administrative convenience. It represents a strategic foothold in shaping regional energy policies, attracting investment, and exerting influence over the continent's energy landscape. Each participating nation recognizes the significance of housing such a prestigious institution within its borders. Nigeria's bid to host the African Energy Bank reflects its status as a major player in Africa's energy sector. However, opposition from neighboring and rival countries, including Ghana, South Africa, and others, highlights broader geopolitical rivalries and interests. These nations view Nigeria's bid as an attempt to consolidate its influence within the energy sector, potentially to their detriment. Hence, they are motivated to counterbalance Nigeria's influence by lobbying for the headquarters to be located elsewhere. Hosting the headquarters of the African Energy Bank brings with it significant economic opportunities. It can stimulate local economies through job creation, infrastructure development, and increased investment in the host country. African nations competing for this opportunity seek to capitalize on these economic benefits to bolster their development agendas. While the competition may seem fierce, it also highlights the importance of regional cooperation in Africa's energy sector. African nations recognize the need to work together to address common challenges and advance the continent's energy goals. The selection process for the bank's headquarters provides an opportunity for dialogue and collaboration among participating nations. The establishment of the African Energy Bank represents a milestone in Africa's quest for energy security and economic development. By hosting the institution's headquarters, a country can enhance its global influence and position itself as a leader in shaping Africa's energy future. This factor adds another layer of motivation for participating nations to vie for the hosting rights. The Energy Bank will help Africa in many sectors. But can it address the inequalities perpetuated by the current global financial architecture? Here's a reminder to please like and share the video and subscribe to our channel to watch more videos on black culture, history, civilization, and identity. Let's continue now. The establishment of the African Energy Bank signifies a commitment to directing financial resources towards Africa's energy sector. By specifically targeting projects overlooked by international lenders due to uncertainty surrounding the energy transition to renewables, the bank aims to bridge the funding gap for African oil and gas development. This targeted investment addresses a crucial gap in the current global financial architecture, where African nations often struggle to access financing for essential energy projects. Recognizing the importance of a sustainable energy future, the African Energy Bank allocates resources for developing renewable energy sources alongside its focus on traditional oil and gas projects. The bank contributes to mitigating climate change and advancing environmental sustainability in Africa by promoting renewable energy initiatives. This emphasis on sustainability aligns with global efforts to transition towards cleaner and more efficient energy sources. The African Energy Bank's investment approach aims to balance development finance in Africa by addressing the disproportionate disadvantages African nations face within the current global investing in renewable energy sources such as solar, wind, hydroelectric, and geothermal. By allocating resources for developing renewable energy projects, 
the bank aims to diversify Africa's energy mix, reduce greenhouse gas emissions, and mitigate the environmental impact of energy production. Furthermore, promoting sustainable energy contributes to energy security, resilience to climate change, and long-term economic prosperity for African nations. The African Energy Bank recognizes the importance of integrating renewable energy into the continent's energy mix to meet growing energy demand sustainably. It plans to support the development of renewable energy projects through financing, technical assistance, and capacity building initiatives. By facilitating the deployment of renewable energy technologies, the bank helps African countries transition towards a more sustainable and resilient energy system, reducing reliance on fossil fuels and enhancing energy access for underserved communities. The African Energy Bank aims to foster innovation and technology transfer in the energy sector, particularly in renewable energy and energy efficiency. It plans to support research and development initiatives, pilot projects, and technology transfer programs to accelerate the adoption of clean energy technologies across Africa. By encouraging innovation and collaboration, the bank seeks to unlock new opportunities for sustainable energy development and drive technological advancements that benefit African nations. Now, let's come to the main question. What are the primary reasons behind Nigeria's bid to host the African Energy Bank's headquarters? Nigeria's bid to host the headquarters of the African Energy Bank is motivated by several primary reasons. Nigeria boasts significant hydrocarbon resources and infrastructure, making it one of the leading players in Africa's energy sector. Hosting the headquarters of the African Energy Bank would further solidify Nigeria's position as a key hub for energy investment and development on the continent. By hosting the institution, Nigeria aims to enhance its influence and leverage within the energy sector, positioning itself as a central player in shaping Africa's future. Hosting the headquarters of the African Energy Bank presents significant economic opportunities for Nigeria. It can stimulate local economies through job creation, infrastructure development, and increased investment in the host country. Nigeria benefits from the influx of financial resources, expertise, and business opportunities associated with hosting such a prestigious institution. Additionally, hosting the bank aligns with Nigeria's broader development agenda, as it seeks to leverage its energy resources to drive economic growth, poverty reduction, and sustainable development. Nigeria's bid to host the African Energy Bank reflects its strategic importance and regional influence within Africa. As the continent's most populous country and a key regional power, Nigeria seeks to play a central role in shaping regional energy policies, attracting investment, and exerting influence over the continent's energy landscape. Hosting the bank's headquarters would enhance Nigeria's status as a regional leader and strengthen its position as a strategic partner for other African nations. So, will Nigeria be able to host this? How does Nigeria justify its bid to host the African Energy Bank's headquarters, and what concessions has it made in the past to support its case? Nigeria justifies its bid to host the headquarters of the African Energy Bank through various arguments and considerations accompanied by past concessions to support its case. Nigeria emphasizes its significant role and expertise in Africa's energy sector as a key justification for hosting the African Energy Bank's headquarters. With abundant hydrocarbon resources and extensive infrastructure, Nigeria asserts its capability to provide leadership and support for the bank's operations. It highlights its experience in managing energy projects and its potential to drive the bank's mission of transforming Africa's energy landscape. Nigeria highlights its commitment to regional development and cooperation as a core rationale for hosting the African Energy Bank. It emphasizes its willingness to contribute to the bank's objectives of bridging the funding gap for African oil and gas development and promoting sustainable energy initiatives. Nigeria positions itself as a reliable partner and a strategic ally for other African nations in advancing the continent's energy goals. Nigeria acknowledges that it has made concessions in the past to support its case for hosting international institutions or initiatives. It cites instances where it has demonstrated a willingness to prioritize collective interests over its ambitions. For example, Nigeria mentions instances where it has deferred to other countries or organizations to host similar institutions or events. By highlighting its collaboration and compromise track record, Nigeria seeks to build trust and garner support for its hosting bid. 
Nigeria also highlights the importance of strategic considerations and regional representation in the selection process for hosting the African Energy Bank. It argues that hosting the bank's headquarters in Nigeria would ensure a balanced representation across different regions of Africa and facilitate closer collaboration with neighboring countries. Nigeria positions itself as a central hub for regional cooperation and coordination in the energy sector, advocating for the headquarters to be located in a geographically accessible and strategically positioned country. Now, the question is, considering the complex geopolitical and economic factors at play, what criteria should African nations prioritize in selecting the host country for the African Energy Bank's headquarters? In selecting the host country for the African Energy Bank's headquarters, African nations should prioritize several key criteria to ensure the success and effectiveness of the institution, considering the complex geopolitical and economic factors at play. The host country should be strategically located to facilitate accessibility and connectivity with other African nations. It should have well-developed transportation infrastructure, including airports and highways, to ensure ease of travel for stakeholders and visitors across the continent. The host country should also serve as a central hub for regional cooperation and coordination in the energy sector, fostering collaboration among African nations. Political stability and security are essential in selecting the host country for the African Energy Bank's headquarters. The host country should have a stable political environment characterized by strong governance structures, the rule of law, and respect for democratic principles. Additionally, it should demonstrate a commitment to maintaining peace and security, ensuring the safety of the institution's staff, stakeholders, and assets. The host country should possess a strong and diverse economy, capable of supporting the operations and activities of the African Energy Bank. It should offer a conducive business environment, including robust financial services, regulatory frameworks, and investment opportunities. Moreover, the host country should demonstrate fiscal responsibility and financial stability to instill confidence in the bank's stakeholders and investors. The host country should have the technical expertise and capacity to support the African Energy Bank's specialized functions and activities. It should possess a skilled workforce, research institutions, and educational facilities capable of providing the necessary expertise and knowledge in the energy sector. The host country should also offer adequate facilities and infrastructure to accommodate the bank's operations, including office space, meeting facilities, and technological infrastructure. The host country should demonstrate a commitment to sustainable development and environmental stewardship, aligning with the objectives of the African Energy Bank. It should prioritize renewable energy initiatives, energy efficiency measures, and environmental conservation efforts to promote sustainable development across the continent. The host country should also support initiatives to address climate change and reduce greenhouse gas emissions in line with international agreements and commitments. African nations should prioritize inclusivity and regional representation in the selection process for the host country of the African Energy Bank headquarters. The chosen country should represent the interests of diverse African regions and ensure equitable participation and benefit sharing among all member states. Moreover, the host country should foster collaboration and cooperation among African nations, promoting unity and solidarity in addressing common challenges and advancing shared goals in the energy sector. The fact that all the nations are considering this too much proves this would impact Africa. So, what long-term implications will the decision on the bank's headquarters have for Africa's energy landscape and regional cooperation? The location of the bank's headquarters will influence the distribution of strategic influence and leadership within Africa's energy sector. The host country will exert significant influence over the bank's operations, shaping regional energy policies, attracting investment, and driving innovation in the energy sector. This could lead to a redistribution of power dynamics and influence among African nations, affecting regional cooperation and collaboration. The bank's headquarters in a particular country will attract investment and development opportunities in the host country's energy sector. It will be a focal point for energy-related activities, including project financing, technical assistance, and capacity-building initiatives. This could stimulate economic growth, job creation, and infrastructure development in the host country and foster collaboration with neighboring countries to leverage shared resources and opportunities. 
the decision on the bank's headquarters will impact regional integration and connectivity in Africa's energy landscape. The host country's strategic location and transportation infrastructure will influence accessibility and connectivity with other African nations, facilitating trade, cooperation, and coordination in the energy sector. This could enhance regional energy security, resilience, and sustainability, and foster closer ties and partnerships among African countries. The bank's headquarters will serve as a hub for innovation and technology transfer in Africa's energy sector. It will attract expertise, knowledge, and resources worldwide, fostering collaboration, research, and development initiatives to address common challenges and advance shared goals. This could accelerate the adoption of clean energy technologies, promote energy efficiency, and drive technological advancements across the continent, contributing to sustainable development and environmental stewardship. The bank's headquarters in a particular country will enhance capacity building and institutional strengthening in the host country's energy sector. It will provide opportunities for training, skills development, and knowledge exchange among energy professionals, policymakers, and stakeholders. This could build human capital, institutional capacity, and governance frameworks necessary to support sustainable energy development and management in the host country and beyond. Considering the criteria for a nation to have this bank, is Nigeria eligible? Nigeria's geographical location in West Africa positions it as a strategic hub for regional cooperation and connectivity. With well-developed transportation infrastructure, including airports and highways, Nigeria offers easy accessibility for stakeholders and visitors across the continent. Nigeria has made strides in enhancing political stability and security in recent years. While challenges persist, the country has a relatively stable political environment with democratic governance structures. Although ongoing, efforts to address security concerns demonstrate a commitment to maintaining peace and stability. Nigeria possesses Africa's largest economy and a diverse economic base, which supports the operations and activities of international institutions. Despite economic challenges, Nigeria offers a conducive business environment, financial services, and investment opportunities to sustain the African Energy Bank's operations. Nigeria has a skilled workforce, research institutions, and educational facilities capable of providing technical expertise and support in the energy sector. With experience in managing energy projects and infrastructure, Nigeria can contribute effectively to the bank's objectives. Nigeria has shown a commitment to sustainable development and environmental stewardship, aligning with the objectives of the African Energy Bank. While challenges remain, Nigeria has tried to promote renewable energy initiatives and address environmental concerns in the energy sector. Given its status as a populous country in West Africa, Nigeria's hosting of the African Energy Bank would promote inclusivity and regional representation. Nigeria has historically played a leading role in regional initiatives and cooperation, fostering unity and solidarity among African nations. While Nigeria meets several eligibility criteria, it is ultimately up to the African nations involved in the decision-making process to determine the most suitable host country for the African Energy Bank's headquarters. Consensus building, diplomatic considerations and alignment with the bank's objectives will also influence the final decision. Here comes an important aspect of the discussion. Does the leader of Nigeria also play a role in this? What if they are not picking Nigeria because of its leader? Nigeria's leader can indeed play a significant role in influencing the country's bid to host the headquarters of the African Energy Bank. As the head of state, the leader can advocate for the country's hosting bid, mobilize support among African nations, and promote Nigeria's credentials as a suitable host for the institution. However, if African nations opt not to select Nigeria as the host country for the African Energy Bank's headquarters due to concerns related to its leader, it could impact Nigeria's hosting bid. Such concerns may arise if the leader is perceived as controversial, divisive, or lacking in credibility, which could undermine confidence in Nigeria's ability to effectively host and manage the bank. In such a scenario, African nations may prioritize other factors, such as political stability, regional cooperation, and institutional capacity, when selecting the host country for the bank's headquarters. While the leader of Nigeria can advocate for the country's bid, 
the final decision will likely be based on consensus among African nations and considerations of the institution's objectives and requirements. Ultimately, the selection of the host country for the African Energy Bank's headquarters should be guided by the principles of inclusivity, transparency, and mutual benefit, ensuring that the chosen country is capable of effectively fulfilling the institution's mandate and advancing Africa's energy agenda, regardless of political considerations related to its leader. Do you think Nigeria is the best place for the energy bank? Should nations let Nigeria host it? Let us know in the comments section. Do you think African nations should support Nigeria? Do you want to watch more videos like this one? If yes, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon next to it. We have decided to bring videos on something nobody talks about, the black culture, civilization, history, and evidence about how glorious blacks have been. Thanks for watching. And until the next video, stay tuned.